Hello guys, welcome back to Samara Lad's Garage. Oh man, I need a bigger shop here. we get rid of some junk. That bicycles. All right, there's my hot ride. I don't want to go camping and stuff. There's Daniel. Say hi. <laughs> I don't know where we're going with this video, but we're going somewhere. Right now, I don't know if you can hear old fire. Or, oh, this thing's pretty dark. There, there's old Rocky. We got him run down. We got Rocky fired up. Yeah. Gonna run down and do some work on an old Mac. Those who aren't familiar with who Mac is or what Mac is, Mac is the trailer that I currently pull. With Fireball, it's more or less my assigned trailer. And I bought the trailer brand new in 2015 or 16. I can't remember right off the top of my head. But the trailer has pretty much just needed tires and brakes. I don't know how many sets of brakes have been put on it or sets of tires or anything like that. But now some of the more mechanical stuff on our trailer is starting to go out like slack adjusters and I got a valve giving me a little trouble. And so we're going to look into it and see what we got going on. What right, buddy? No, we don't. Hey, did we play with that? You remember what happened with that? Did you get boo boo? Yeah. Yeah, we don't play with the grinder, do we? Because you get boo boos. Yeah. Yeah, that give you a boo boo. Yeah. Yeah, that'll really give you a boo boo. Right. He found out the hard way about this old boy right here playing with it. And yeah, we just, just we just had a regular wheel on it, but I can tell you firsthand these wire wheels, I didn't want to get away from me on an angle grinder. I almost ripped the whole bottom half of my hand off. That's what we're doing. We're gonna go down and get started working on the trailer. And hopefully, what? I got too much crap in here. So we're gonna start working on the trailer and we don't know where we might end up. If we get done early enough, we might go down to Poplar Bluff and watch monster trucks. I don't know yet. I ain't making no promises on the monster trucks so. though. Well, first thing we do in this situation as we open the box up to see what we have. Which I've already done that, but you haven't seen it. This here is a slack adjuster. Automatic slack adjuster. Meaning it adjusts itself automatically. But here's the problem. This isn't the slack adjuster we run on this truck or on this trailer. I have never seen a slack adjuster like this. Let alone change the slack adjuster like this, so... I'm going to go take the one off the trailer that's currently bad and show you what's going on, but we're probably going to make a trip to Farmington to see about getting the right one. I hate taking parts off to put them right back on if they're not good, but it is what it is in this circumstance because this ain't what's on there, so I don't know. We'll take the other one off. This kind of gave you a quick rundown if you're not familiar with truck brakes. This is actually a spring air chamber. I don't remember which line is which, but you got air that comes in. It supplies it to release the parking or release this brake. And you got another line that comes in that gives it the air to engage the brakes when you hit the pedal. So it comes through this rod, comes up to the slack adjuster. This right here. Adjust the amount of slack in the brake on your, you know, over here. But this is the part that's bad. This part up here is the part that makes the adjustment. This whole piece here, whenever you hit the brakes, it keeps the brakes in adjustment. And as you can see, the sucker's wallered out compared to that one there. That's still good. So that's why we're changing this one out. 
It ain't because I want to do it, but it's got to be done. There it goes. <laughs> well, porch run got a little more entertaining. Going down the road. I know y'all know where I live on two lane road. I'll be the first to admit I was speed. Go past state trooper, I just wave and I just keep on going as business as usual because that's why grandpa told me to do it years ago. So you slow down, he looked guilty, son. Well, I watched him on my beer. I see the brake lights come on. I knew I'd been I, I was done at that point. He turns around, he comes flying up on me. Walks up the window and goes. I pulled you over because your license plate. Got to change the sticker on it. <laughs> Still got a 2023 stick or 2022 sticker on it. We're in 2023. So. That's all it was. He ran back, ran the registration, and come back to get your sticker on, boy. <laughs> I guess it helps. Whenever he uh, he got a pretty clean record. I don't get pulled over often. Hey, they pulled me over for speeding because he was speeding. I could see his, I could see his antennas reared back on his car. He, he, he wasn't going slow either. But, uh, there you go. Well, this sucks. Hit up Tag. They didn't have what I was looking for. Hit up Napa. They don't got what we was looking for. And being Saturday, earliest I'm going to get anything is Monday or Tuesday and that ain't going to work so I guess our next option is to see if we can't get a number from the dealer and possibly swing through a dealer and get one it's going to be about our only other option I suppose so we're going to go home and I guess put the old one back on and just send it bud we're all back together just in the breakout now, what we did is, see the zip ties? Can't really get on this side very well, but put zip ties on there to make up for how uh, the, uh, yeah, this gap in there. Because this rod here, you know, it goes through, it holds that in place, and, you know, when this is, Doing this whole swinging number, it keeps this all in just. So, with it having all the space in there, I think it was allowing the brakes to loosen up more than what they're supposed to be. And when I hit the brake, it you know it, it adjusts itself. So as it hits this rod, it's saying, "Oh crap, we need to adjust it." And go doing that number, but. We're gonna finish running this down. Let's see. Went down all the way. Quarter. Some guys just do a quarter, I always do a half. It'll adjust itself, but there we go. New the new one is on its way. Be here Tuesday, so we'll probably change this out on the road on trucking diaries because that only makes sense but we're gonna throw some old grease in there and probably since we're underneath here probably go ahead and grease all of them but we're gonna grease it up just to get us through till we get the other one in and on <laughs> 